welcome to Fuse Food. I'm Sophia, I'm going to be your chef today and this episode we're doing vegetarian. Today we're going to be cooking a vegetarian egg and onion frittata which you can cook any day. It's super delicious and really healthy and really easy to do. So we're going to begin and it's just using some very simple easy ingredients. We're going to first of all fry some garlic and onion in a pan. So a really good tip is if you just put your knife on top of the garlic there and crush it down, that's all the oil's out. So you're just going to get much more flavour in your garlic. So that's your garlic done and once that's chopped really nice and finely, we're just going to pop some oil in the pan and we're going to fry it really gently. So you just want a little bit of oil, uh, probably about two tablespoons tops, and that's just going to cook the garlic. Just pop that in the pan. That's going to heat up now while we chop an onion, and then we're going to throw that in there with it. Okay, so we're going to use one onion, and you want to just chop it in half like that. Take some of the peel off, and after you've got rid of all the skin, you're just going to finely chop the onion. Onions are a really great source of iron and vitamin C and they are a great way of adding a lot of flavour into vegetarian food and your sauces and for this for tartar. So just add them to the pan like so and then they're just going to fry until they're nice and golden and they release some of that juice so give them a good stir and they're on a low heat there and then while they're cooking we're going to chop some potatoes. So grab a potato and after you've peeled it, you want to just cut it into rounds like so. And you don't want them too thin, you want them quite chunky, about that size. And then what you're going to do with the round is you're just going to chop it like this and cube it. And they're just going to go throughout the frittata and make it a bit thicker and a bit of a different texture to it. And adding the potato really fills you up, so it's always a good one to have. So you just want to dice the potatoes up into little cubes, and that way they disperse up the potato quite well. Okay, that's done. So you can see over here that the onions are cooking through, and they're not quite translucent yet, but they're getting there. And when they're translucent, that's when you know that they're done. You want them to just soften a little bit and they get really sweet. And we're going to add our potato to the onions. And just give that a really good stir. And it smells amazing. So now you've got the potatoes and the onions in the pan. You want to leave it on a medium heat and let that cook through for about 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna mix the eggs. So you're gonna think this is quite a lot of eggs. We're gonna use four, but actually it serves four people. So it's only an egg per person. And you just want to crack the eggs into the bowl like so. So you just want to whisk the eggs just gently until you break the yolk and it all kind of becomes one colour. That's done. You want to pour in some milk. I just have semi skim milk here, have 150, like so. Give that a whisk and you just want it to be this kind of pale orange yellow colour. And that's perfect. So once that's done, just leave that to the side and let's go back and check how our onions and potatoes are getting along and they're looking really good. This is exactly what you want. The onions have gone translucent, which means they're going to be nice and sweet. And the potato, if we leave it for just a little longer, is going to go soft and brown. And that's when we're going to mix it into the frittata. So now we're going to move on to seasoning the frittata. Uh, and I'm going to use a mix of different seasonings. First of all, I'm going to go with oregano. 
And just use a little bit because you don't want to overpower it because the onions add a lot of flavour already. And then I'm going to add a little bit of paprika, which is fantastic for colouring. Just give that a mix. And then of course, black pepper and salt. pinch of salt. I use this kosher salt, it's called Maldron, and it's got a really nice rounded salt flavour. A lot of the time you use table salt that you can buy really cheap and it's quite bitter, the sodium's quite high and it's just not the best salt flavour. So Maldron's fantastic, it gives a much more rounded flavour of salt. So this is our potato and onion and it's looking fantastic, really golden brown, gorgeous. And this is a really easy vegetarian dish. I've been vegetarian for 23 years, all my life, um, and I don't notice any differences. I think it's a super healthy way of living, and I think it's a really good alternative sometimes to swap meats out and try different dishes, especially if you want to build your recipe collection. However, if you do want to add meat into this dish, you could very easily, some chorizo might be very nice, some sausage, anything you fancy, but try and keep it vegetarian if you can. So the potato and onion are cooked through now. Just want to turn the heat off. They're nice and brown and bring it over to the egg mixture. And you just want to pour that in, like so. Put the pan back on the heat because we are gonna move it back into the pan in a second. But the reason we bring the mixture to the egg is because it means that it disperses through the egg and it starts to cook immediately because it's so hot and it just means that your onion and potato don't sink right to the bottom of the potato when you serve it, which you don't want. It can also cause trouble sticking to the pan. So we're going to leave that now for 20 minutes and you can just go relax and wait and it's going to be delicious. So this is the colour you want it, really lovely golden brown and then it's ready to serve now and you can just either put it on a plate or I like to just chop right through there. This serves about four, so you just cut through and grab yourself a slice, like so. And once you've got the potato, just pop it on a plate like so, and you just want to let it cool for a second, and you just want a little bit of salad on the side there, and that's going to be delicious. sticking it out and the onions are really sweet I suggest you try it at home and if you do comment below on YouTube and follow us at Fuse Food hashtag Fuse Food Fridays Full of flavour, the potatoes are really nice, they thicker and out of it. And <laughs> I'm gonna have to go again because I just said park on the loud a bit. Okay, so it's taste time. Sorry. <laughs> the boom was just a little bit. Sorry that was <laughs>